Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily, I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and a 500 hour yoga teacher. This video is gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do because I'm gonna do it on what I eat in a day, which is a very, very broad statement because every day is very different. You know, as a nutritionist, I know how to eat, but do I always choose the most nutritious options? No, because life gets in the way. Sometimes we will eat for comfort. Sometimes we're running low on time and we eat what's available. So there's a lot of different factors, but this video is gonna be kind of about like what a somewhat good day looks like. So I'm gonna take you on a little spin through what I'm gonna eat. So this is breakfast. I'm doing these heritage flakes with oat milk and I'm having chai tea and it's just the bags with hot water and then I sweeten it with a little bit of maple syrup and I put some oat milk in it. I also have about a cup of berries. I also have this incredible glass jar. It holds about seven cups maybe like seven and a half if it's completely full. So I try to do about like one to two, maybe one and a half of these a day. And I also find that just like having a huge water bottle like this helps me to drink more because it's more convenient, it's there, it's full. Yeah, it's easier. And the cereal that I do, the heritage flakes, the reason why I like them is because for one cup, you get 160 calories. It's seven grams of fiber, five grams of protein. Um, so it's pretty, and, it, and also the added sugar is only five grams, which that's something I like to look at it. Cause that's, a lot of cereals have a ton of added sugar in it. And that's where you'd find like cane sugar or any other type of added sugar will be right here. And so that's pretty low compared to like most cereals. And this is the ingredient that's like super clean, um, all whole grain, whole wheat, all organic. So yeah, I really like this cereal. If I'm going to do like a quick cereal, this is the one. I usually put some kind of fruit in it just because if I don't, it's not that sweet. So it's like the fruit gives it a little something, something. Okay, so for all the calories for breakfast, and that includes the cereal, the berries, the milk, and the tea with the maple syrup in it, um, is about like 500, how much was it? Let's see, it's 565 calories, which, you know, for breakfast, that's not terrible. I also breastfeed, so I'm eating a little bit more calories than I normally would. Okay, so it's 10.30 now and I'm having a snack because I'm getting hungry. All the snack is going to be is I'm going to mash up this banana and then I'm going to have, this is just oat milk and cheese seeds sat overnight, so it's real thick. And... It's funny. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some cacao powder in it to make it chocolatey and delicious. So this is the cacao powder and I'm just going to do like a, yeah, it's probably like a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon. But... And then with the banana and the cheese seeds and the milk and the, I'm just gonna stir it up. Maybe use a bigger bowl than me because <laughs> it's like hard because it's like really full and the powder's like kind of spilling out, but we'll get there. And voila, it's all done. And it's really tasty too. So I feel like this right here, the calories in this are probably going to be, the calories in this chia pudding is about 400. It's like pretty much a meal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna eat my like uh, next meal, probably just when I feel hungry, which won't be for like the next couple few hours. I'm um, just really listening to my hunger and fullness cues, which I mean is pretty easy to do when breastfeeding. I'm just hung I can be hungry all the time. And the nice thing about these, the food that I've eaten so far, is it's high in fiber, and I am drinking lots of water. Like I've already downed about four cups of my water, so that's gonna keep me nice and full, but also still getting really nutritious and a, like nutritious options options and a good amount of calories. So it's about 1.30 and I'm gonna have something to eat. 
I'm gonna have to do a bagel, Dave's Killer Bread. I love these bagels, they're really clean. And then also I have some vegan caramelized onion dip, which is mostly just for like flavor. It's really good though, from Trader Joe's and an avocado. Very simple, but like it's gonna be really delicious. And I'm just cooking my bagel with a little bit of olive oil. This avocado is so perfect, I love that. So I'm just gonna do half of it because I don't really need all of it. All right, so this is it. Doesn't that look delicious? Ooh. And this is probably about a little over 400 calories. So I think we're sitting about 1400 calories for the day. And I also drank most of my water. I have about one cup left in here and then I'm gonna fill it all up. Mm. So I just finished that and it was so good, honestly. And you know, sometimes like you eat food and it just makes you feel like really tired and low energy. What I've been eating today, I honestly don't really feel tired at all. I feel really good. So that's a huge thing too, is just like checking in. How did this feel make, uh, this meal make me feel today? All right, time to refill the water. About 3.30 and I'm having some mango and a kombucha, just for a little snack. This is dinner. I have some sweet potatoes and some asparagus. And honestly, this is a really simple dinner, but it's balanced and it has everything you need. So who cares? Like it's easy and quick, but this is just eggs. I'm going to cook some eggs in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil. These are free range eggs. I'm breaking the vegan <laughs> trend today and having some eggs, but I go with the organic free range eggs. So yeah, uh, this, this is what I do when I, when I want to eat some type of animal product, I go with these type of eggs. And what I'm do is I like put a little bit of olive oil on them and I have some onion powder, some garlic powder, some Himalayan pink sea salt. And this is the olive oil I have. It's just Trader Joe's um, from Italy. So that's, that is dinner. I've got my eggs cooking. I'm doing a lot cause I'm making for, making this for me, my family and my little son. And we got the sweet potatoes all seasoned and I'm just gonna stir it around. And this is dinner. It's gonna be delicious, but just simple. You know what I mean? It's quick and simple. Just a little bit of olive oil. So I just cover them with some foil. I wish I had some type of lid that was oven safe that I could put, but for now, Tin foil will have to do. And as crazy as it sounds, I am not gonna put a timer on just because I usually just let my intuition guide me on this one. I also have to say that I am having some, a little bit of Bonterra organic wine. Just a little small little serving. So that's it. That's what I ate today. And it was probably about 2,300 calories, give or take. I don't normally calculate my calories, but I thought it would be interesting to put this in here just because it was more of like intuitive eating, like listening to my hunger and fullness cues. And when I calculated what that was out, it was about 2,300 calories. So that being said, I am a breastfeeding mom and I also am pretty active because I'm chasing around a one-year-old and I did an hour of yoga today. So that does increase my calorie needs. So it's about where I wanna be. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. I would be really grateful and have a blessed day.